That's right. So let's get right to that list of the five most vulnerable winter cities in the U.S. And we start at number five with Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. has that huge population in the U.S. In fact, that whole metro corridor from Baltimore and up to Philadelphia, not only the big population, but when they get hit with a winter storm, they can be massive, producing more than two feet at times. And when you have the nation's capital and the fact that the federal government can be shut down, this really deserves a nod. So number five will be Washington, D.C. On to number four, Raleigh, North Carolina, and in fact, that whole quarter from Raleigh through Charlotte and into Greenville, Raleigh's not no, only known for snow, but they're known for ice as well. We have an effect called cold air damming, where we bring cold air in at low levels of the atmosphere, and that can produce some significant ice events there, and they are not set up to handle that kind of winter weather in Raleigh. Number three, Little Rock, Arkansas. Little Rock is interesting, and in fact, all of Arkansas is because they can tap moisture out of the Gulf of Mexico, and they also get Arctic air from the plains. This can result in major snows and major ice storms. They've had a number of these in history, and once again, Little Rock, as much as you try, Mother Nature is going to overwhelm you. Then we go down into the southern plains, Dallas, a huge population, and Dallas is an area where cold air can shoot right down from the plains, lies along low surfaces there. Dallas is known for icing dangers in particular, and they certainly are not set up in a cost-benefit analysis for the city to pre-treat or treat those roads. Certainly our number two. Dallas is a relatively flat area, though, everybody. We're going to go to Atlanta, Georgia, and by the way, if you've never been to Atlanta, there's a lot of hills in Atlanta. You put those hills down and you put some ice down in Atlanta and you're not going anywhere and we saw this last year where it stranded tens of thousands of motorists in an ice and snow event. My number one most vulnerable city in the United States for winter weather, Atlanta, Georgia.